Hello and welcome to the Dark Hour. This is Chapter 11, Beast's Crisis. I wonder what this chapter could beast about. Uh, Lady Leanna, we have bad news. Yes, what's wrong? You have yet to locate the whereabouts of Lord Torado. Oh, he knows how much I worry for our own. Why would he disappear on us like this? Another matter, one of the Riverport villagers are being attacked. Goodness, by whom? We don't know. This enemy is not like anything we've seen before. They appear accurate to what the scrolls of the old age describe. Hmm. Soldier, gather the troops and repel the threats. Post haste. But this report came in late. We may not make it in time. I see. Then there are any airborne troops on standby? As another issue, Lady Anila of the Pegasi Guard has betrayed us. There's still General Arvin and his wyvern troop waiting for an order. Good enough. Go to him and tell him to make his way to the port and defend it. Yes, ma'am. Wait, what if a third power enters the fight? If they're not hostile, I'll consider them allies for now. But if they attack, he is free to fight back. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> they don't suspect a thing, but I should be careful. One wrong move and they'll catch on to my illusion. How do I figure out the Soul Stone's location? And retrieve it with minimal suspicion. Hmm. Well, now we know what the mix-up's all about from the last chapter. A town in the middle of nowhere? Hold on, I remember this place. And this means we're still in Sorg. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Regardless, we now know our location, and with this knowledge, we know where we can go next. Where? To the temple. Duke Cyrus can help us. That's right, he can help us put an end to this nightmare. What's wrong? It's feeling, it's... Help! What the... Hold on, hold on, what is going on? Queen Lyanna and King Algird? Oh, thank the gods you've returned to us. Listen, the village is under attack by these... things. Everyone has hidden their homes and the guard is nowhere to be seen. Please, you have to help us. Is the refuge vessel still here? Y yes, it's still docked to the port. But the monsters have taken it. Very well, we will clear a path. Stay here until the time is right. Okay. Charlotta, can you keep an eye on the people and keep them safe? Yes, ma'am. Everyone arm yourselves. All right. Um, so I've played this map before, like I mentioned in the last episode. I played 10 and 11 before, and uh, I beat this chapter with no casualties, and I intend to do so again. But uh, for now, I think it's worth highlighting. There's a couple of droppable gems. Uh, there's a store here. There's a few things. I don't really know what you need to get, honestly, at this point from the weapons store. But here, you could stand to get another t uh, couple of tomes there. Maybe unlock staff just so we can have it. Uh, maybe some chest keys since we kind of needed those in the last chapter and would have been nice to have. So, yeah. And, um... We start with these five units for now, but we'll get some more later, as you'll see soon enough. I'm just going to make some quick preps, and then I'll be right back, ready to fight. Okay, so I'm back, and I'm ready to begin. Let's go. I tried this chapter a few times. I completed it once. Um, because I, the reason why I, or I repeated it is because I uh, had wanted to restart from chapter 10. So, I'm here again, obviously. Now, I'm going to equip Liss and support with Algird. Support level increased to A, but unfortunately no dialogue for them either. I don't know if anyone has dialogue, which is kind of disappointing. Because, like, supports and GBA and Fire Emblem in general, really, after the GBA is where all the character um, characterization happens, you know? And it's kind of a shame that it's just missing from this. But it's okay. We'll just, you know, press on. Try and um, level up O'Neill a bit in this chapter because there's some weaker enemies here and maybe we can ship a few guys down with the generals, or the general and the sentinel, Torado and, and Ion. Ion's not really an armored unit, so calling one general is kind of misleading. We got Aether out of that, which is neat. 
Uh, kind of wondering what's going to happen next. Well, I, I know what the chapter 12 looks like, but I am curious to see where the story goes from here. Because, uh, oh, just luck for you, okay. It, it, it's it's got a good... There's a good baseline under the story here so far. I'm just wondering where it's going to lead. Because even good stories are stories with seemingly good um, direction can just kind of fizzle out later on. And I hope that doesn't happen with this. So far, it's pretty good. Algird, I'd want you to go here. Now you have an Iron Lance, that's fine. Let's just put you here with a... No. You know, let's just take you out right now. No muss, no fuss. And let's see. If we were to kill one of you guys... Um, 89. Okay, let's try it. Okay, that worked out. And maybe that wasn't the wisest move, but for now I'm going to just roll it and try to uh, isolate O'Neill from damage. I can do that pretty easily, though. We have Toronto. We have Aeon, Aeon, or whatever your name is, stand here. Um, yeah, stand here. Do that. We have a lance. Let's have Tarado stand here. Have a steel blade, and that will do it. Okay, good job, Eon. Skill and resistance, all right. Um, yeah, lots of, lots of enemies just moving around a lot, and... The thing about this route is that there's a lot of enemies that are weaker, are on the weaker side at least. And we kind of just have to mow them down. HP, strength, luck, and defense. Or, or HP, luck, defense, and resistance, rather. I don't know what I was saying earlier, but it's not true. Um, oh boy. Let's chance this. Okay. That was very lucky. Get a level up out of that. HP, strength, and speed. Not not too shabby at all. I got an Osferatu, which we'll just send back, because no one here can use it. Now, I don't want to go too far down this path, because there's a guy here with a Brave Bow. And if he starts using it, uh, we'll lose it, so to speak, because he won't drop it anymore. So for now, I'm going to have Eon um, just bait the skeleton over with Lightning Tome. Have O'Neill stand here and just phone an area. Get ready to feed more kills to him. And send Toronto this way. He can help out on the right side a bit. Okay, good. That's a kill for O'Neill later. Algird can easily kill that guy. Thank you, Algird. Very, very cool. It's another skeleton down. Let me get a level up out of that. HP, skill, speed, and resistance. And this doggo is going to be hard to hit, but we hit him anyway. Alright, so we can move Liana up. Help out with the doggo. Wonderful. And have Algrid go over here and just start doing stuff. As long as we stay out of this Gwilgi's range, we should be okay. Now, O'Neill. I want O'Neill to go around to this side and smack this skeleton to death. Get a level out of that. HP and strength, not too shabby. Now, can Aeon chip this guy safely? Kinda. Kinda. We'll just wait here, then. 
Toronto's gonna go this way. And start to bait this thingy to us. I'll just use a Steel Blade for that. Yeah, I can wait there, we'll just end the turn. This will be an easy-ish fight. All right, good job, monster. Oh, hey there, proc. That's very useful. And very cool. It's another zombie almost dead. This guy's gonna fight Torado. Easy enough. Got a nice big level out of that. This is really handy. HP is just, that's fine, I guess. I'm gonna get any ranking swords, which I guess is the right side, and some Master Seal, which is cool. Really need to hand out promotions at some point. Just haven't got around to it yet. HP, Strength, and Speed, all right. I mean, I could promote a few people, but there's some good levels to be gained still. All right, boys, we have one goal. Escort the civilians to the rescue vessel. Once everyone is safe, we clear the area of monsters. Ready, go. Yep, so that's our our van. He's uh, a wyvern general from Sorg. He is proud and caring. So that's the uh, general that Liana, quote unquote, sent out earlier. Now, what I'm going to do is swap to the lightest axe we have, which is a killer axe, and then talk to you. Arvan, long time no see. King Algird? Is that really you? I'm not seeing things, am I? That was an illusion when I punched you in the shoulder. Like this? Bop. Yeah, <laughs> it's really you. But my liege, we were told you were killed. Your body was even recovered and buried. How are you here? Unless... Everything will be revealed in due time, but for now we have a town to save. Me and my wyvern knights are right behind you, my king. Let's end the turn. And check Arvin out. You already saw his description. We got an Iron Blade, a Killer Lance, a Javelin, and a Vulnerary. His growths are... Well, his bases are pretty geared towards being a defensive flyer unit. And his... His uh, offenses are pretty good, too, although a little bit weaker than some of our current units right now. He does benefit from being able to fly, though, so that's nice. And I'm sure he'll grow into his role over time, because he has really high growths and strength, speed, luck. Uh, pretty high in defense. Um, low for this hack and resistance, although not as low as Algird. A lot of units have pretty high resistance growth in this hack. So, that's neat. We're going to use Liana to kill the Zombo. And... This guy is the guy with the brave bow, which we can only kill really with Arvan. But there's a bunch of bow users here, so we have to be really cautious, or or not be cautious at all and just get shot a bunch of times. But let's not try that. I think that won't work as well. Let's actually get rid of this longbow guy first, and we'll check out his animations next turn. If I remember to turn them off. Oh, it's kind of a struggle for me. Let's uh, hit this thing. All right. And then move closer to this guy without getting a range of the Brave Bow fella. So here is fine. And then Torado, my man. Let me take out a... Mm, just one short of doubling. Well... One short of one hit round KOing, rather. And I don't want to risk a crit twice, so maybe we don't do that. 22, 16. Your defense is 23. Let's just send you up this way. Let's see what happens. Um. Okay, this is good. The Gwilla is going to come to us, too, maybe? Or... no? Okay, that's fine. It's kind of surprised Leanna can survive that. Does that... How, how much range does that zombie have? It seems really fast. Movement range-wise. But I'm not sure on that. Five. 
I don't know, he seemed, a little, seemed like he moves from like here to here. I wasn't seeing things. I don't know, seems strange. Let's try to kill you because you're now very dangerous. You only have a fiery fang. No, no droppables, unfortunately. Um, let's try this. Oh boy, that's not good. Let's just heal Algird and Leanne at the same time. Okay, we got strength, magic, and luck. And if we kill the Zombo, um, kind of risky. Well, not as risky as getting shot a bunch of times. Let's try this. All right, goodbye. And stand by a little bit. Okay, healed up. And we'll heal up here too. Great. Now Torado, my man. Now how do these guys do? Ah, nothing against you, man. We're good. Let's see if we can't just hit you with a Sword Slayer for accuracy purposes. Goodbye. Thief, thief. Yeah, there's a guy that appears there. I think he's carrying an eclipse. I'm um, not entirely sure why, but that's fine. Not sure how a bone walker like steals stuff from humans, but uh, I'm not gonna question. I just accept that it's a goal to grab that eclipse before time runs out. So we'll see if we can't catch up to him. Uh, we could theoretically do it. This is a start. Yeah, okay. Now uh, the reunion might just kill him now. <laughs> which, which would be kind of funny, but also disappointing. Let's try this. Alright. Um, 22 minus 12 is 10. We should heal you up. Alright, now Torado, you guys just have lances, right? I wish I brought you know, like a real axe, not a sword slayer, but we'll just use a javelin for now. Um, hold off on moving further with Aeon and O'Neill for now. Okay, um, green units, you're kind of suffering there. Toronto is doing well, though. Pretty good at cleaning up. Oh, goodbye. That was unfortunate, but what can you do? These guys are moving very slowly and ominously. I'm going to fly over here and take out this Eclipse fellow. Okay, good stuff. Strength, magic, luck, defense, resistance. All right. And an eclipse. I think we have to chance this now. Oh well. Go here, trade up a Brave Axe again. Now we'll just swap for funny reasons, and then have Torado uh, try to take these guys out some more. Level up. HP, luck, and resistance. Not too shabby. Uh, let's continue waiting here. We're going to bring Arvin back around soon. Okay, that's one down. Now, the Gwilagi might attack her too, but she should be able to kill it. Okay, good job, Torado. And excellent. A rank in lances is always handy. Yep, oh, that was a fun exchange. I think we'll, oh, we'll actually does go for Liana. Ouch. Okay. Let's start flying back. 
Well, let's have Algird actually brave access thing if we can. Finally gone. Thank you. Leanna may be able to do this, but um, not actually. She's not. This would work, but then she gets shot unless we kill this guy. 28 with those steel blades at 26 with the bow. Yeah, she'd die. Let's... Um... They do a lot of damage. We're gonna actually just heal up. Um... Do you have an elixir? Anyone have an elixir? You have a couple of elixirs, we can just use one. Alright. Now, this is gonna be a tricky one, but I'm gonna have Toronto go back. Uh Arvin. I think we're going to have you take out a Poison Sword guy. I think that's... Well, how do you do against this Entombed? You do okay. Let's just go over here. And do this. That's fine for now. And you two... We're going to send you this way for now. Because there's work to be done there soon. All right, Arvin, good job. A magic seal of luck, OK. And a blue gem, excellent. Let's send the eclipse back. We can sell the gem here. Ouch. OK, good kill. Nice and clean. And I get a level out of that, too. I already gained three levels in this chapter. We just barely recruited him. Ouch. Okay, so that's fine. We can still fly out of here. There's, an, there's a Cyclops, it appears. Uh-oh, we got trouble. We sure do. All right. So... I think I'm going to have Algird attempt to help with this that guy, but not, not really that well, unfortunately. Let's have Liana list this guy up. There we go. HP, strength, magic, skill, speed, and luck, and defense, and resistance. That was a full level up. All right, then. Got a Brave Bow. Let's send the Brave Bow back. Stick Algard here with a Brave Axe. Alright, so far so good. And fly off in this direction. Um, we can actually probably safely just do this. Save ourselves some time. And then... You have a tomahawk. You also have a medicist home. Um, let's just go here. And... Go, like, here-ish, right? A bit divine, probably. It resists really low, so divine would work fine. And we'll back you up with O'Neill. We're gonna rally even though we don't have to. It doesn't actually do anything for us. Alright, Algird. Kill. Soon. Alright, gotta level up for you. We are now level 14, which is wonderful. Strength, luck, and HP. This is gonna hit pretty hard. And, well, double crit. Wonderful. Gurg. Goodbye. That was extremely lucky. <laughs> but uh, strength, magic, skill, luck, and resistance. All right. And Medicine's Tome. Easy peasy. We'll give that to someone we like later. 
All right. Torado. Well, O'Neill, how do you? How would you do against one of these guys? Toxin Lance, Iron Sword, Javelin. Um, just one short of killing. That would be a nice chip. Let's go here. Uh, I can't Javelin you to death, but they can get you pretty close. And then go here. And just lightning you a couple times. Alright. Then swing around here. And then just finish you off with the Lance Reaver. The other guy will probably go for O'Neill too. Probably by throwing a Javelin at him. Nice level 10 Mercenary. He'll learn something. I don't know what that skill is. I'll find out though. It's... Seal Speed. Def debuff the opponent's speed by 6 after combat. That actually might make O'Neill really good. <laughs> Finally. We'll see. Let's have Algird uh, finish you off with the experience points. Wonderful. Still need to kill this white, but for now... I think we can just press on. Um, actually... Well, you don't move, so... But I'll do... Let's go over here. Vulnerary... Well, Killer Lance first, then Vulnerary up. Try to pull one of the... Gargoyles, but then we'll have to, like, meet up with them somehow. With Liana and Algird. Or just fly away from them, that could work too. Now you go for Eon, interesting. Not sure why you do that, but okay. Does Eon have some sort of skill that, like, makes units attack him more? Because he like Eclipse, Holy Aura. No, you're just you're just people like you, I guess. Whatever. Um. Yeah, problem is if that hits and crits somehow, we'd be screwed. So. Well, not as screwed as Toronto would be. I'll just stand here for now with Divine, and um. Well. Yeah, let's just use an elixir just to be extra safe. I really don't want to lose this to some random chance. I know it's unlikely, but unlikely things happen all the time. <laughs> I know that makes no sense, don't question it. Now... Uh... Hmm... I think I want to pull the Death Goyle to Algird here. Like that. And... Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six. That's also in your range. Yeah, we'll just move back. Or focus on killing the white. I guess that would work too. Let's do that. Uh, you don't move, so this is fine, theoretically. Alright, thank you. Very cool. HP, speed, and luck. Alright. And we learned something. That is Savage Blow. After attacking enemies within two tiles, they take 20% damage. Nice. Let's go back to here. And just top Algrid off. No need to, really, but it's probably better than nothing. Alright, you're gonna go for a Liana. Interesting maneuver. Got an Oscaratu out of you. Put that away. Alright, you're gonna attack him up close. Alright, very cool. Now we can actually... Um, let's just finish you off. Let me get 
Magic skill, luck, and resistance. Not too shabby. And an extra divine. Um, let's just send the one with 31 uses back so we have a fresh one. Move forward here. Uh, you can actually hit this guy with a brave axe a couple times and then get doubled. But then Leanna can kill. Yeah, that works. You can even do this first, honestly. And then get Algar to kill. That's a 17. Yeah, that works. Let's just do this. Level up. HP, skill, luck, and resistance. Not too shabby. And finish you off. I'm just going to use the King Great Axe, since I like to keep the Brave Axe for when I actually need to use it. And Algird is now level 15. Great. Strength, skill, speed, and defense. If we can hit this guy, yeah, we just take you out right now. Get Arvin some more experience. He can clearly use some. Fimblevator. Send that back. All right. Down to the last four enemies here. I don't know if these guys are going to really catch up by the time we actually could use them. Um, which is fine if they don't, I guess. You have a blue gem. We can sell that and buy stuff. All right, that's a poison sword that you have. Let's be cautious about that, because poison is fairly nasty in this game. Um... Let's just stand here. We'll try to shine you away. You can wait on this church for a little bit. Oh wait, you had a gem, not Algird. Never mind. Oh well. We'll just wait nearby. Let Eon ca try to catch up, although I doubt he will. Alright, that poison sword guy is not moving. Um, you know what? Let's go over here, and over here, trade this around, go over, well, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's fine, eight, let's just go up to here, move back, and view forward because there's no reason not to. Same with you. Okay. Since you're not going to move, we may as well feed Algorit another kill. There you go. Um, let's do that, I guess. Finish you off. And we're still good. Let's just heal up our van. Move Torado up. Move O'Neill up. Oh, I really don't think these guys are going to do anything else. Maybe sell stuff. Yeah, we can put Torado here, Fender. Sell the blue gem. And then by, uh, let's get ourselves an unlock. A couple of chest keys, because we've been in sore need of those sometimes, and then we just don't have one. Um, an extra couple of heals would be nice. And I think we're good. There's, the boss has a white gem, so... Um, we won't be lacking for money, but we won't be able to sell anything after we kill him, because he's literally the last enemy we're going to kill. Now, this guy's an Iron Lance, and this guy's an Iron Lance. Let's just bait them both. Like so. And then move up to support. Support range for Liana. Get you here, just in case you need to help out. Move you up. Okay, goodbye.
HP, strength, speed, and defense. Neat. And A and axes. That's as high as we're going to go without promoting. Unless this hack has changed something about how the game works, which I don't think it has really changed much in that regard. All right, now you have a steel sword, so... Now, what do you do again? 21? Okay. That looks like an easy job for me. Or Algard, rather, with the Sword Slayer. I'll get you a level 2, probably. There we go. HP, luck, and resistance. Alright, then. And a white gem, of course. We expected to get that. Let's send that back. That was good. That was a well done clear, I think. Is anyone accounted for? Three, four, yep, that's everyone. Good, even though we have dealt with the enemy, there's still a good chance they will come back. So it is best if you get everyone away from the area for now. Also, may I request something? Of course, you've helped in saving the people from those fiends. What is your request, my liege? How close to the Sorg Temple can this boat take us? About as close as a mile from it. After that point, you're on foot. Good enough. With Duke Cyrus by our side, we should get every soldier to come to their senses. I hope everyone is okay. I have no fear, my liege. I will try and get the ship to the temple as quick as I can. We will depart shortly. Thank you. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Leanna, you've been very quiet recently. Everything all right? Ah, oh, it's you. Sorry, I was just, uh, thinking. You know you can't hide anything from me. Uh, I know, it's just, well... Take your time, you can tell me when you're ready. I won't force you. Wait. Yes? I'll tell you. I'm all ears. Ever since you left, all I have done was wait for you. I didn't leave the castle, I didn't help the people with the bandit issue. I didn't have any meetings with the Mork Empress. All I did was wait, and wait, and wait. I didn't even send a search party for you because I knew it would cause panic. But as the days went by, my anxiety, my fears, my paranoia were growing worse. Leanna. But when you returned, I thought the nightmare was over. When you said you weren't able to stop it, but have prolonged it. I hoped it would not be so bad. With everything we had that can help us in ending this event before it can begin, only for it all to be taken away in the blink of an eye. And then to be saved by something. You know what it really feels like? We weren't saved, we were thrown into purgatory, forced to endure our worst fears. Because as of now, we were thrown out of our home. Our soldiers slowly being turned against us. And a witch using my face for her own selfish, petty desires. And here I am doing nothing. Nothing. All I can do is just swing my blade and heal the wounded. How is that going to do any good in this nightmare of an event? Uh, don't sell yourself too short, Leanna. You're actually much better than you say you are. <laughs> Uh, you're probably the best unit in this this route, honestly. How? Just how? I'm no savior. I don't even deserve the title of royal. You were nothing but beggars before you found us. What good is a queen who relies on her king to stay sane? Uh, I'm a fraud. No, no you're not. Huh? Look at me. You think I don't have any flaws? Day and night, night and day, I cower in fear from the voices in my head. The screams of the innocent suffering by the hands of the wicked crying out for me to help them, then suddenly silenced. To this very day, it still haunts me. Leanna, look at me. Do I look like someone who can manage an entire land by himself? Why do you think most kingdoms have both a king and a queen? So they can help each other in helping the people they work so hard to protect. Besides, I hoped my departure wouldn't have caused you so much pain. But now I regret ever doing that to you. I'm sorry, Leanna. No, no, I should be the one apologizing to you. <sighs> Leanna, heed these words. For now, we must cast our fears aside and focus on our main goal. Once we reach the temple, we will be one step closer to peace. Right? Right. Okay, come on, we must prepare for land when we reach it. Okay, and thank you, Algird. No, I should be thanking you. Come on. Yeah, I mean, the story under underlying the game is very promising. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. Uh, I just know what the beginning of chapter 12 look like, so uh, everything else will be a surprise. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.